Welcome back to Thief 2 The Flying Age or The Abominable Flying Machines of Dr. Zeppelinger or in this case The Abominable Rune Crazy Rune Puzzle of uh, Dr. Von Braun I don't know what it's supposed to be hiding uh, but uh, the uh, glyphs here, three glyphs here, not five and the notice is something about surely this book, this book uh, surely somewhere there must be a tablet that depicts all five rooms together with an explanation for each one. So they do something. It looks like there's a panel up there that might open. I don't know. I don't really know what the symbols around the edge are supposed to mean either, if anything. I'm sure it will all become clear in a matter of time. Oh, hey, we can turn the lights on here. Let's switch in this room. Oh, they, they had a torch in here before. Oh, hang on. Oh. Well, that's, uh... Looks like there's a door here. But when we finally figure out what to do here, it'll open the door. When I saw I could frog that, I assumed it was to open a secret door, although it would seem redundant with a mechanism like this. But uh, for it to light the torches, that's convenient in this case. Most of the time that would be uh, quite inconvenient. Alright, so we're going through the house, going through the doors. Oh god, now I'm going to remind myself which ones I haven't been into. Uh, which keys do I have left? I've got the museum key. I've got the mansion keys. Neither of which works on that room, so that's something significant. I mean, possibly relates to that. Ah, uh, diagram. Just trying to remind myself of where everything is. Okay. Yeah, the museum was downstairs. Just can't remember how to get there. I think it's in this wing. So earlier I was feeling like it was kind of important to be uh, neat and tidy about closing doors, and now I'm feeling the opposite. Private museum. We well, don't want any of the servants to go. I mean, I can see why they might be uh, spooked out or tempted to steal this stuff, you know? It looks valuable. I don't know. Silver fire brokers. Horn. These masks. It feels as if I've stolen all this before. Did, did you just buy it from... My fence? Oh, hello. Is that anything relating to the runes? Maybe not. Uh, I was fortunate enough to notice a little switch here just by accident, so let's... Oh, that's not what I expected. Alright, well, here we have clearly the moon, the monster. I forget what this one may meant. Moon, monster, was that the thief? The... No, that's the man. Yeah, the moon, the monster, and the man. Okay. Moon, monster, man. I think the other one was man something something. Moon, monster, man. Hmm. So maybe this isn't it. Maybe it's just a... Well, it's... I mean, it's a plate for sure, but perhaps it's not containing any secrets, or concealing any secrets might be a better way of putting it. Uh, okay, what are my objectives again by the way? We need to get to the roof, oh, we find the lost artifact and collect the scepter, okay. He hid them very well. Too well, evidently. <laughs> Alright, um, let us check this tablet. The other one was, monster, was Moon Monster Man, and this is Man Monster Flame. Can't frog those individually. And this. <coughs> feels like it needs something. I've got this crystal that I don't know what to do with. I've got this wallpaper stripper 
stripping was like a knife, I suppose you'd call it. Uh, I haven't seen any wallpaper that needs stripping. So they're clearly for something, but I don't know what. Something needs to go on here, and I don't know what. Not the keys, obviously not the keys. Not that. <laughs> and presumably not a healing potion or a speed potion. Yeah, new mantle is uh, being remarkably generous and letting me mantle onto a one inch wide ledge. It's slightly unbelievable. Anyway, that's clearly a dollar, right? Look. Clank was here. Nothing. Okay, so. Where are we going to use a crystal? Where do we need to rip off wallpaper? Um. Oh, it's hiding money there that I had not noticed either. Good thing I put the lights on. How do we get in here? Because a crystal isn't going to do that. That's a key we need. I guess I kind of need to look over pretty much every room again. See if I missed anything before. There's also the question of how we deal with those plants downstairs if if I want to. If I decide I want to deal with them. There's the magic scroll, there's the mirror. The scroll was supposed to be behind the cabinet in the bedroom. But uh, I can't see how unless unless there's a secret switch somewhere that makes the cabinet move um, rather than just Having, this, having it sit behind the cabinet, in which case I should look around for any such switch. Aha! Okay. The spell scroll. Must be instructions on this thing somewhere. Well, yes, uh, yeah, they were. Where was it? Was it here? No, there was another note. This scrap here. Activate the mirror just by using the scroll and acting the spell in front of the mirror. Okay, so we found the mirror. I mean, I can't remember now where it was, right? Not this mirror, I mean we can do it here, right? We can pretend this is the mirror. But it won't work. Um I've got some in the bathroom. Oh yeah, it was the opposite side from opposite wing of the house. Matching room to that, wasn't it? No, that was this room. Okay. Was it in the museum? No, because we only just went into the museum and I found it before the, uh, the episode break. Well, there's a banner I've not uh, removed, you know. I can at least fix that. Oh, here's a door I've not unlocked. But, okay, right. It leads to a place I've been, that's fine. The other side here. Alarm. Hmm. Lucky for me, no one pressed that. Have I been through? Oh, yeah, that was just the servants. Okay, so the kitchen doesn't actually adjoin the dining room or go particularly near the dining room, which is obviously going to be a pain in the ass for the servants. So we've been here, read everything that we saw, we were able to read. Oh, it's just a mark on the book. I thought it might have been something. And there was nothing in that one. Where was that room with the mirror? Is that relevant? I mean, it also looks mirror-like, but it's not the one. There's a room and it said, this mirror reflects your worst fears or something. Something sound trying to sound appropriately spooky. Maybe it was this side. 
No, because this is just the whole layout that I just came through. Maybe it was upstairs, and I... Wait, where's this go? Oh, it's just the dining room. Yeah, oh, here we are. Where's that light switch? On the wrong side of the door, how inconvenient. These, uh... What's it? Did you just hear a door close itself? It's very strange, a few of the doors in this mansion do seem to close themselves. Maybe it's just for fire safety. Like, the banners... The banners hanging around everywhere are just uh, actually fireproof and useful as fire blankets. I don't know. It could be. Yeah, so we read that uh, as the note about the keys. The keys are there, and here we have the mirror. This mirror reflects you and all of your fears. I mean, well, my worst fear is... Oh, hang on. I was going to say my worst fear is that I'm invisible, but look. It does reflect me. It's a nice touch. Alright, let's read this scroll. I don't know what it's supposed to do. Hello, another crystal. Some loot and a book, which I'll read in just a second. Well, lots of stuff to read. Alright, let's start here. Aha, uh -huh. we have the five symbols. With an explanation that I cannot read. Oh, that says moon. That says fire. This is someone has just got a Greek font and... Uh, that's mapped to English letters and uh, written it out. Moon, fire, so I can't actually read it. Um, sort of. I don't even remember the name of those. That was Cluenda or something. Uh, I don't know. Something. And... Alright, I can't read the top three. I can only read the bottom two, but anyway. Uh, so this is what the five symbols mean. We have... The man or the monster. I don't know what that one is. It kind of looks like it's, supposed to be, it's an eye or water or something. That's the man, that's the monster, or the god, or whatever. That's fire, and that's the moon. Is this the order we have to do things in? Ah, oh, here we are. Man, I, Anulendu, fire, moon. Man, I, Anulendu, fire, moon. Now, it's very annoying that I can't pick these up, because uh, I... And that there's no notes page here, because I can't take notes in-game. I don't really want to have to go and hunt down some paper to take notes out of game. It's very, very inconvenient. I will use this last rune as the final lock. When all the rune locks are unlocked, this one will automatically open the passage. The original meaning is a passage in time. Of course, this is not a passage in time, but the secret way to the tower. Finally, I have the knowledge to secure everything I want to hide, simply using what I've learned from those ancient Maya runes. I will prevent access to the tower with a magic lock formed by five different runes, each one with a different meaning, utilising the Elgato Scepter as the key. Alright, so we need to find the scepter before we can get in, okay. Five different runes. The flying machine that Dr. Zeppelinka gave me as a gift is in the top of the tower. It's a very nice model with double wings on both sides, designed for emergency use only, but I'm very happy about that because I really love to fly solo and maybe someday I will use it a little. 
Anyhow, these five different combinations will remove any fear of theft. Each combination is formed by three runes in sequence, and each combination of three runes refers to a story or event, a legend of the Maya's ancient and glorious past. I have some of those rune tablets around here. One should be in the mirror room, and one is in the study, but you'll never be able to understand it because it is long and ciphered. Another tablet should be in the locked Elgato room in the crate. And one should be in my museum, but I've waited a week for it, so it seems that someone lost it somewhere. Also, one of the servants reported a tablet in the botanic room which got broken into two parts. I should fire a couple of people here. Fortunately, the tablet's not valuable pieces, but merely copies of the originals found in the Maya pyramids during my last trip three years ago. Everyone who wishes to learn more about those runes would read another book I wrote. You can find it somewhere around here. Good luck. It's like, uh... He's written, made the puzzle for us rather than to keep things safe. Oh, coins. I translated the first passage from one of the tablets and will use it as a lock code. It reads, The monster rose from the abyss and we saw that it had an unusual number of eyes. It had the two eyes that humans have and an extra eye in the centre part of its face. The lock code design is two eye runes and the monster rune. To remember the right sequence, I put the tablet in the other good hiding place behind the other mirror. I will set the lock precisely the same way. Oh my god, there's another... Okay. Tablet number three has a corner broken off. It's missing, but I think I know where it is. One of the cleaners found a strange piece of rock in the botanic zone. The botanic room is a very dangerous place. Recently, the Duke planted a strange new brand of killer flowers. I'll use the tablet three runes for the third lock. So that will be man, man, and the rune on the broken bit. I can't remember what it was. All oh, right, so uh, if I've got that right, so this is just a key telling us what the runes mean, so that when they say man, we can uh, look it up here. Of course, the book also told us that. But, um, uh, this one was trying to tell me access tower with magic lock formed by five different runes. Yes, utilizing the Elgato scepter. So we need the scepter. All right, so there's another mention of the Elgato room, right? The Elgato room, the locked Elgato room. So the Elgato room must be the one that's got the chain across and the padlock. Um, so each combination, there's three rooms. So there's, does each set of, each tablet indicate like, I'm a little confused about how that's supposed to work. Is it the case that uh, each tablet is a different combination? A different puzzle? Opens a different secret door? Like, I can't do it right now, right? I mean, there's a door there, there's a... That's obviously... The, presumably that panel up above is what we've entered as a combination. I found this one, I found the one in the museum, there's the one in, mentioned the one there, so we've got five, there's five different tablets. What are all the different combinations for? Oh yeah, these doors are closing themselves. Very weird, very odd. Okay. So this is this is the Elgato room, right? And I can't pick the lock. Uh, I have these two crystals. Um, one has a thing with little teeth on top, and one has a thing with little teeth on the bottom. In the middle. So I'm gonna need to find the key for that. Also, there's the plants in the botanics room because we need to go there and find another rune. Well, I know where it is. I don't know if I can kill the plants. I don't know how we're supposed to kill the plants. Maybe they're allergic to moss arrows or something silly. Surely not water arrows. Um, they were out here. I opened that, didn't I? Can I break this? No. Hang 
Oh, is that, there's a picture on that. Is that just decorative? I'm gonna go grab a crate. Where was a crate? Where did I find a crate? Uh, in the kitchen. In the fridge, to be specific. I'm gonna grab a crate to stand on so I can look through the window. Pick it up, carrot. Let's be a little bit tidy, you know? Um, because I can stand on the crate, look through the window, just, just to double check what the situation looks like in that room. But, it's I mean, this window is surely going to be more important than just to look in, right? Because... It's just the picture on the window is dancing. Let's try and look through the window. Yeah, that's just the deadly flowers in that room. So, what is the purpose of this? I mean, yeah, maybe there isn't a purpose, maybe it's just there because it would connect and it just gives another window into that part of the building. Sure. Seems reasonable to have a small yard. Seems very reasonable to have... What am I tripping over there? Maybe it's just a bad collision or something. Uh, it seems very reasonable to have... Um, Windows in a place like that. I think I can get out. Okay, so maybe that doesn't mean anything. Comes through here. You have the door outside this section. The dripping tap. And the deadly plants of doom. Yeah, so I can see the windows over there. So I'm gonna make it really bright or not very bright. <sighs> Let's do some experimentation. Let's throw what arrows at them. Of course not. Moss arrows? No reaction. How about broadheads? I hit some. Actually, even looks like maybe sticking into them. But, um. I'm doing anything. Let's try chopping them up with this. Nope. And. I'm still experimenting. I'm just gonna reload this. Do they, do they have a problem with flash bombs? Ow, I have a problem with flash bombs. Now I can't see a thing. How about crystals? Hang on, is that a tablet? Is that the tablet behind them? <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, that was not successful. Oh, hang on. I said lots of deadly plants. Are those deadly plants? Oh. Oh. I thought it was only the gas plants that were deadly. <coughs> ah! Alright, so the, the gas plants are deadly, and the other ones are deadly. But for some reason, the other ones didn't fire before. All the time. Well, I don't know. There's f at least five flowers there, right? Huh. Do these ones react to water? Of course not. So they, if they don't see me, they don't fire, right? Well. 
Right, so this one's turn. These ones attack me when I get close. <laughs> and there's the tablet I need. Right. I just got the eye. I mean, I could take that as a cheap solution. I know it's the eye now. God, those are bizarre. Just like shoot a billion. I wonder what you're supposed to do to get rid of them. I mean, the trigger is very strange. I don't like that outcome, particularly. I wish I knew what I was supposed to do. I mean, it's clear there's a specific solution in mind. There's not a very general kind of puzzle. I don't have the equipment to do lots of stuff. Um. Oh, hello. I'll switch. Well, maybe this will give me something more. Oh, there's another. There's another tablet. Okay. Invisibility potion. Well, that will get me past the flowers. Maybe that's what I should use. And we have the forbidden room key. All right. And a bit more money. And a papyrus we can actually pick up this time. Dr. Faust, keep this key well hidden. The reason is Duke Carl von Braun's personal order that the girl's room must never be opened again. I trust in your absolute discretion. Well, the one that is not a clue I can pick up. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have to come back for these. If they're gonna make any sense, because um, I can't remember them, and I can't take notes. Let's go unlock that other that room. It was upstairs, wasn't it? Where's the upstairs? Well, there's the stairs. It'll get us up. Uh. Uh, this way? This way. Okay, forbidden room. New objective. Find the lost artifact of Elgato and collect the Septic Thomas. If you hear them very well, yes. This chamber hides a terrible secret. Find out what it is. Ah, oh, that's a new one. I'm the daughter of the Duke von Braum, and this is my last poem. Every time my dad goes away, he starts to look at my mother with languid eyes. Every time I was afraid because of his moving under the stairs, each time I play in this chamber, he comes to watch me play. And when my mother dies, it is because of him that she dies. Now I bide my time and hope that my father will someday realise why he reared a snake in his castle. Okay. Something terrible happened to the daughter. Well, I can see why we can strip some wallpaper now. Where's that tool? The servant is a killer. New objectives. Servant is the killer. Stop him at any cost. Find a way to kill him. Does that mean Manuel is a killer? Did Manuel kill the daughter and the mother? Huh. But we knocked him out and... He seems to have disappeared with a laugh. I don't... 
Although she made a note in there about uh, being under the stairs, right? So maybe we can find the uh, secret room under the stairs here. Oh, hello. Right. Hmm. Oh, he knows we're here. Oh, you know what? This is not good. Uh, where's the way out? Can we trick the plants into killing him? This is going to be bad for me. Where's my invisibility potion? Quick. Well, we can trick the plants into killing us. Okay, so that's why the servant disappeared. He went to hide. Uh, new objective about the terrible secret. Hmm. There is a. Well, we can I can read that I guess again. Triggers the ghost. Now what I can't do is uh, cut away the wallpaper. Now I'm not sure how you managed to write a message under the wallpaper, but nice work. I can pick up Dewdrop, and but Dewdrop's not going to kill the servant. How do we kill the servant? I don't know. Well, anyway, this is not the old Gato room that I thought it was, right? The Gato room had a crate. What is the Elgato room? Where was the scepter? We need the scepter to do the combinations. Well, while we're not being hunted, uh, let's... Can I get that? No, it's probably too high. Yeah. There's definitely sp uh, enough space under the stairs for there to be a room. But I don't quite see... I don't see anything that looks like a doorway. Okay. Um... So what puzzles have we got? We've got the how to deal with plants? Well, you know, it's possible to deal with them, but not really with only three broadheads. We've got how to deal with the killer. I mean, you can try flash bombing him and knocking him out, right? Um, actually, the other hallway's better. What is my flash bomb shortcut key? F8. Okay. Yeah. Come away. We need the paint stripper. I don't think it's going to work. Certainly, the idea is. <laughs> Running around the house being chased by him does not seem very profitable to me. He's not coming this time.
Well, I don't have anything that would kill him, right? So it feels like I've, I'm missing something important. I mean, I can cheese him, sure. Hey, no, don't do that, mate. That's bad. Like, you know, stand somewhere you can't get to. <laughs> so he's still, he's still gonna try. Uh, use the crystals on him. Nope. So, that's a very frustrating objective because I'm placed in a deadly situation without the knowledge or the means to do anything about it. So I guess I learned through death and the ability to reload and come back. I don't know how to do anything about the puzzle, key puzzle, uh, with the glyphs because we need the scepter in order to be able to do that. Hmm. I did not want to go looking up walkthroughs, but Kind of feels like I might have to. Turn the lights on here too, why not? We can turn the lights on everywhere. We have, what, like five of these? Six of these? Mentions of a whole bunch of them. Not really any idea which one would be the machine. Oh, hello, maybe there's a room in there. And there'd have to be a switch somewhere, like hiding on a flat pot. Or a lamp. Or a door frame. Maybe behind the sofa. Probably not. Oh, hello. Ah, so there's the other broken one. Man, man, and we know it's I know it's I, but I should probably find that out properly and I might just use the uh, invisibility potion to do so. Although maybe it's maybe it's fair if, if the game is gonna kill me with that guy and I have to learn from death uh, not to go scrape the wallpaper yet. Maybe it's fair for me to also learn from death what the glyph is. I don't know. I don't even know if that's the glyph I need. The glyph combination I need. Because I've got so many of them and I don't know what they're all for. I mean, I got a scepter. I mean, it's a fire poker, but it's kind of scepter ish. From up there, but. Uh... But right now I feel like I'm just kind of wandering randomly, hoping to stumble on something that's not very productive and probably not very interesting. There's more mission after this, I think. I don't think this is the end. So I kind of don't want to get stuck on this particular mission. This hallway doesn't have a light switch. What am I missing? This is hiding a secret. Well, it doesn't even go clang. Yeah, it does. Um, what am I supposed to do about these plants? It's a bonus, optional, find a way to kill those. I don't need to, but it would help to get to that corner without dying, but, you know, whatever. Anything I'm missing upstairs? We found the scroll behind, you know, behind the bed. We found... So we got through the mirror. So... Uh, you know, each combination, there's a lot of combinations. Mirror room, study. Well. 
haven't even been in that room, right? The locked Elgato room. What is what is the locked Elgato room? Oh wait, the Elgato room is the uh, room with the combination thing, right? Because maybe. No, but the tablet there wasn't in the crate. Museum and botanic room. Do I have to put in five? 15 runes? Oh, I don't know. I translated the first passage from one of the tablets that we use as a lockhead. It reads, Monster rose from the abyss. We saw that it had an unusual number of eyes. It had two eyes that humans have and an extra eye in the center part of its face. The lock code design is two eye runes and the monster room. So is that the lock code? Two eyes and a monster. The other good hiding place behind the other mirror. Okay, well let's let's go look for other mirrors. There was one in the bathroom. Yeah, I'm really confused by all this talk about different tablets, the one that was broken. Was this does this, this one have the note with the broken one? About the broken one. Uh, I'll use this last rune as the final lock. When all the rune locks, okay. This there's suggests that every combina every combination opens something different. Yeah, this one is broken off. Oh, that's number three. Oh, so there's a bunch of locks. So the first lock is going to be I I monster. Okay. Third one is uh, man man I. Let's see now. All right. So each tablet does do a thing. All right, there's another mirror here. Well, that's one way of finding it. Uh, that's I I monster, indeed, as he said. Ah. So that's not very, very useful because he's written it right there in the book. Right where he told us where he'd hit it. I don't understand that as a concept, as a concept for why someone would write that in the book. What did he write in a different one? Okay, this is one. He said, I, I, monster. He just said it there, right here. Uh. Wait, no, wait. It is this one you said, right? Yeah. This is the one. He tells us what the thing is. He tells us he hit, says he hit the tablet in the other good hiding place behind the other mirror. What? What? How's that make any sense? I hit the tablet with the secret combination in it right here. Where you'll never find it. But here's the combination. I don't understand. Oh well, that was the only other thing I knew that I could pro make progress on, and it's done now. As far as I know, there's nothing else of value in this room. We found the, uh, the secret there, the scroll. I am at the point of wanting to look up a walkthrough for a whole bunch of these answers because, or well, maybe just sit and play some calming music to. No, Garrett, you'll never be a good harpist. I need to, I need to make progress on. Yeah. Oh. Need to make progress on that. I guess I can save with that objective. I need to make progress. So this is not the Elgato room because that's not a crate, right? But there's a tablet there. There's a scepter we need. I have no idea where the scepter is. No idea how to deal with the killer, no idea really what all the different combinations of this are supposed to do, or I suppose one of them opens that door. Ah. There's a crate there. Uh, there's crystals, but what are the crystals for? Got two different crystals. Uh, 
I can't use either of them with that, right? I only I know I tried one of them. I don't know why they would. They don't fit any mention to the scepter. All right. I am going to. Perch up here on the banister. Uh, both to get a chance of a good screenshot and, um, well, to go off and see what I am missing. Okay, so there's a couple of things now that uh, I know how to deal with. First one is I now have a hint on what to do about the killer plants. So I would like to kill them, it seems only fair. So... I'm not sure why that doesn't do anything. Let's, let's just read the book again, right? Um, have you fed my dearest flowers, the venom plants, with the chlorophyll? I hope so, or I'll kick your ass harder than it's ever been kicked before. Signed, your boss. That's giving me the objective again. So there's... Oh, hang on. What's that behind them? I don't know, but it looks important. Or maybe it's another crystal. Presumably it is important. Okay, there is supposed to be a uh, something connected to this feeding system, right? I can turn the feeding system on and I can turn it off. Maybe that's the purpose of the front yard. Let's check the front yard. So, I mean, obviously it doesn't be connected to the feeding system because it says, can you kill them and they need to be fed clock, but why would you talk about their feeding if it's not important? Um, but like that's all out there. There's mention of a small switch on the end of a plant trough. Oh yeah. So that's a secret, apparently. Aha. Uh -huh. And that opens, that gives us a chlorophyll container. Right, so that's what they fed us. So now if we try to turn, feed them, Huh, still works. Maybe there's enough left over in the pipes. Uh, we'll just turn that off. So, we want to kill these plants. They're too tough to be killed with the sword, right? That would be much too easy. But, a very long time ago now, we uh, found a convenient uh, poison dispenser. Poisonous fluid. Immersed substances will become toxic. So let's make... The chlorophyll toxic. Now it's gone red. Universal sign of bad chlorophyll. And with that, we can poison those horrible things. I guess it, I guess that switch is pretty visible. I just wasn't really looking for switches. All right, now. Wow, they make sounds too. So that makes it a little bit safer in here. Now these things are still are still dangerous, but I think we might be able to get them from the side. Yeah, they're shooting straight ahead of them. Swipe 
Let me go this way, Jarrett. Right. All right. Whew. So now I can hang around here safely. So we have the eye. On the botanic room tablet. It's the third glyph. And we don't need these uh, gardening tools, but let's check if there's anything in here now that we're not dying to do so. And I can come and have a closer look at this, which definitely looks like a tablet, but uh, how would you open that? Is there yet another hidden switch? I mean, there have been a lot so far, so it would make sense that there could be one. Can't see one. Uh, well, let's remember that, and we can go back and do that. So, they're dead. It would be extremely frustrating to have to come and get that. Oh, there's the switch. Extremely frustrating to have to come and get that. Ah, okay. Um, it's a uh, sideways T. Extremely frustrating to have to come and get that if, if they were still trying to kill us with their barrack gas. These ones are more frustrating. These are the ones that are actually killing me. For some reason, I thought... It was the gas that was killing me, but it, when it was those before. Problem solved, you never need to go in that room again. Alright. Now, the second thing that I got a lead on from the walkthrough. That was the first. I'm turning it about. Um, is what to do in the creepy room. Not, not about the killer, necessarily. I don't know exactly how it's all supposed to play out. You know, the kids' room. When they all murdered. Where we have a new objective to find out what the terrible secret is. So we read a poem. And she appears. And runs out the door. Now when she ran, I first thought we needed to follow her, right? But then she vanishes and it's like... Do we follow? How can we follow? We need to do need to follow her. We just don't know where we need to follow her to. Uh, did I check the other rooms on the side? Aha! Uh -huh. Would you help me get revenge over the killer? Sure. He has protection with an enchanted invisible shield. Only the crystal sword can kill him. Okay. What? Um. Okay. What is that? A thing. Okay, only the crystal sword can kill him. Let's turn the lights on. Well, I have these crystals. Are these anything to do with the crystal sword? Uh, well, it seemed to like that. Let's try the other two. It's a very strange thing to have in a bed, you know. A, like, sword. A bed with a built-in sword factory. Fully automated. But, you know, I mean, if it works... Crystal, the crystal sword. I don't sword. need that anymore. Oh, he's put his other one down. Nice. Okay, so now we can probably kill him. Okay, I'm like... The whole reading the diary, then uncovering the wallpaper seems a natural progression. Reading the diary, then coming in here, and does not seem natural. But that's fine. That's what I guess what walkthroughs are for when things don't add up properly. Alright, let's take Dewdrop, because Dewdrop's good luck. Scares away mechanists. Even though the mechanists are kind of not really hanging around anymore. Let's find out the terrible secret. <gasps> the servant is a killer! No, 
now the dramatic music starts. And the servant's going to come running for us. Let's be ready for him. Take that, the killer. <laughs> that is actually the killer. Uh, right, so I'm just stop him any cost. Find a way to kill him. Done. Find the lost artifact of Elgato. Well, that still needs to be done. Did he come from here? No, this is just the dining room. Did he open up a door under the stairs? Where did he come from? Not there. Um, I mean, you know, maybe he was just hanging out in his bedroom here. But, um, these were both here before. All right, so that's... Oh, hang on, is this his, his translation of the tablets? Man... Cry eyes? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know, I have the dreams place. Let the stars get through what you there. Some of this, like, it talks about the moon, but it's not clear. Um... Okay, we've killed that guy now. That's a success. What isn't a success is figuring out what to do next. There was... I believe... I was skimming after that part. I was, kind of, I was, you know, as usual when I look up a hint or a walkthrough, I try and find just the minimum to get me through the bit I'm stuck on and hope that that will um, resolve the problem, right? So I did see a little more, but I didn't pay attention and only no vague snippets. There was something about having defeated this guy will give, eventually give us access to the Elgato room that we haven't seen. What I'm doing right now is I'm going to bring him in here to show the ghost girl, I mean, this is my thinking, to show the ghost girl that we've got the revenge, right? That he's dead. But, uh, she doesn't care. Maybe she's hanging, still hanging out in the other room? No, she means she dashed out, right? Through my face. Um, I don't think this is going to do anything, but it's probably worth a try. So here. I mean, I can put him on this weird bed. That's obviously not his bed, right? That's the sword-making bed. Well, anyway, it definitely seems like worthy revenge. The servant is the killer on the wall. You know, when the duke gets back, he'll find this door open. He'll find the secret. He'll find the body of the man who murdered his wife and daughter. And maybe he'll be pleased at that and not worry so much about who stole all his valuables, right? One can hope. One can hope for a small amount of justice in the world. But... This still leaves me... wondering. But you know what? I will wonder... a little more. But for now, I think it's a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed it, and I stopped wondering enough to get my words working again. Um, thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you here for the next episode.